What's going on guys? My name is Colin Ross. Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create this awesome police light effect as you can see right here from my upcoming Casey Neistat video. So originally we shot this, if I turn off the effects here, you can see we had a police bar that kind of lit up but it didn't provide the effect that I wanted, but it's a good foundation for the effects I'm about to be creating. Let's just hop right into it, drag your footage into a new composition right here, this will create a composition with all the attributes that your footage had, and then I'm just going to right click create a new null object. The first step here is tracking the motion of this layer because we have to parent the flare to it. So go over here to the tracker um, if the tracker isn't there go up to window and then turn it on right here and it'll show up make sure your footage is selected and hit track motion and then basically you just have to drag this little point right here to this dot make sure your resolution in your composition is set to full because this will make it a lot easier for it to track and then you just have to drag this box a little bigger and then make this box just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna track this point, track whatever point um, is attached to your light and will give you the closest motion to that. So once that's done, I'm just gonna hit play over here and After Effects is gonna do a pretty good job at tracking this. If it does mess up, all you have to do is hit stop over here and then redrag your point onto the point you're tracking. Uh, make sure it's good for every frame. Um, After Effects is going to do a pretty good job. It might jump around a little bit when things get a little motion blurry, but for the most part, it's going to track it very well. Probably fast forward through this. So you, oh, see right, see right there? Just as I said it, um, I'll go back a few frames. So it's good, and then it jumps over. So I'm going to drag it back on, and then hit play forward again. Do, 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 do. Tracking, tracking, tracking. All right, so if you drag through here, you can see we're tracking that point almost perfectly and then all we have to do is apply that to the null we created so edit your target make sure the null you want is selected and then hit apply now you can see the null object in our scene is tracked and looking good the next step is to create a new solid doesn't matter what color it is and then go into your effects and presets tab and type in optical flares and this is the part of the tutorial where optical flares is not free. It does cost money, but I highly recommend it and it is worth every penny. Um, it's made by Video Copilot. I'll leave a link in the description. Essentially, there are tons of options, tons of presets you can use, and it's really cool. If you're ever doing any lens flares, any type of effects like that, uh, I definitely recommend it's definitely worth it go into the options and then click the light right here We're gonna pick a preset and then customize it just a little bit and then hit the red light right here We're going to hide that streak and then we're going to click this iris right here and change the rotation to 360 degrees and then we're also gonna hide the glint and this is gonna make it so it's more of a flat bar and less of all that star shape going on if you like that effect you can do it but I prefer this for the police light because it just looks like a flat bar like how I've seen in cops and all those types of shows once you have it looking like that hit ok go on to the transfer mode for your layer if you don't see it hit toggle switch modes and then hit add and this is going to make it additive so only the brightest parts show through the next step is making it look like your light is moving with your police light to do this hit p for your null object and then hit e for your solid drop down the optical flares alt click on the stopwatch um, without getting too much into expressions uh, we're going to drag this pick whip down to the position for the null this is going to tell the center position to be on the null object for the entirety you know so now it's going to look like it's tracked but we still have a little bit of work to do. Highlight all the keyframes for the null object and then drag them onto the police light where you need it. For this case, I need it on the red. The next step is trying to make it look like the light is flashing and you can do this just by setting keyframes, but it's more efficient and looks more realistic if you use an expression for the brightness. So I'm gonna alt click on the brightness for the solid and I'm gonna type in wiggle parentheses 50 comma 150 this is basically changing the brightness by 150 um, a lot of times so now if you preview this you can see the light is tracked and it looks like it's flashing kind of like a police light if that's not bright enough for your scene um, even though you set an expression you can still drag up the brightness that's just going to change where the wiggle is affecting so it's still going to be brighter it's just going to flash still so it's kind of depending on the you know how close your subject is to the frame yada 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 so i'm going to change this maybe to like 150 and that's what i found to look best for my shot might not look the best for your shot that right there is already looking good but now we're going to duplicate that and also make one for the blue light what we're going to do is i'm going to duplicate the null object and i'm going to rename this blue light because that's what we're using the blue light for drag this on top i'm going to duplicate the solid drag it on top first off i'm going to hit the blue light hit p and then drag all these keyframes and move it over to uh, where the blue light would be. And then all I have to do from there is hit E again on the black solid, drop down optical flares. For the position XY here, delete this expression 
and then alt click on the position again and then redrag this down to the blue layer. So that's just gonna parent the blue light there, but we still need to make that light blue in optical flare. So I'm gonna hit options. I'm gonna change the global color to a blue. And then I'm also gonna change the iris in the color over here, color one to that same style of blue and then click OK. So that's just gonna change it and make it look like that part is blue and the other light is red. And since they're wiggling with the same expressions, that's always from a random source. So they're going to flash at different brightnesses, which is gonna give it that cool police effect. I feel like that was a speed tutorial, but I hope that broke it down for you and showed you how to accomplish this. I looked for a tutorial on how to do this with optical flares and knew I could probably do it, but hopefully this shared that information with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm uploading a video every single day for the rest of 2017. So subscribe to follow along for the journey. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look forward to my Casey Neistat video coming out later this week. I'll definitely post more updates as I edit and get a final release date, but the effects are coming along nicely. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, bye. Peace, peace.